China Lace Wigs. You guys have seen me work with this company before. Um, this time I decided to do, of course, another wig. It is their Brazilian curly wig, but this time I kind of wanted to do an unboxing and kind of show you guys like how I prepare my wigs as far as like my baby hair goes. So this is the box that it comes in, which is pretty much standard for this company. I love the black and I love the gold um, writing and gold logo. Very sleek. And then inside, you get your free gift. This company definitely gives really nice free gifts. And then in the box was the wig. It did come nicely packaged. Um, it was in one of these really nice bags like this. And it had a little tag attached. And then inside the bag was a long plastic bag, which the wig was in to completely protect it. Um, I got rid of that already and then there was like stuffing in the inside and a net around it so that it could protect the wig pretty much as much as possible. Um, if I did not mention, this company does ship via DHL, which she looks like. Now I did go ahead and bleach the mats and because this is a wig, I went ahead and shampooed and conditioned her with Aussie Moist and I let her air dry. And this is what we've got so far. I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace. But before I do, I'll show you the inside. Now she is a lace front wig. So this is what the cap looks like. There are two combs in the front. I believe one in the back. Adjustable straps. There's that little flap right here of lace. So if I go ahead and cut that lace off, this is gonna help it to look realistic if you wanna wear it up in a ponytail or a bun. And then this is what the construction of the lace in the front is. You have lace parting all right here. And then you also have lace all along the hairline. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all the lace off and put her on. And then I'll be right back. So this is pretty much what she looks like on. I feel like every time I go short on the wig, I'd be like, this is the shortest I've ever gone. But this literally, I think, is the shortest I've ever gone for curly hair. Um very 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 natural i think this is very fitting for someone who's like in high school or again who's someone who is in you know a professional setting so that you're not coming in we have issues with 24 inches of curly hair in your head and it's super big because usually when i go short i go fuller if that makes any sense so again this is brazilian curly hair um she's 150 percent density and the length is 18 inches um, I did ask for a petite cap because I think they have like two or three, maybe even four different size caps. I have all of the information and the link to this wig listed in the description bar. Um, and for there, it will have all the details on exactly what I have. Um, so yeah, like I've never had something so, I'm not going to say I never have, but this is very, 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 very natural for me. Um, as far as the parting go, like I said before, I bleached the knots and it actually looks really good to me. I don't know how it's picking up on camera because on camera it looks a little bit more red, but it's also very scalp-like. Um, I don't want to mess up too much, but you guys see, this is, it's a lace front wig, but like right here, a track starts. So it's not like a closure where it's like four by four. It's more of a lace parting and it goes from like here to right here so basically this was like pre-parted i didn't even use a comb to part it i just was able to like work the hair over with my fingers and the part was already made i did not have to tweeze it at all and then of course it'll be good in a ponytail or a bun um clipped up high ponytail high bun all of that the only thing i would do is add some um baby hairs to make it look a little bit more realistic so really quickly i'm going to show you like a quick and easy way that i make baby hair i do not have a comb in front of me or a mirror so bear with me i know a lot of you may not be as skilled with um like tweezing the hairline and stuff like that but you still want the way to look a little realistic so this is kind of the cheating way without tweezing the hairline um, the first thing I did was I took like the little tail side, I guess, of my little edge brush and I just pulled out some baby hairs. I don't know if you guys could even see them, but they're there. Um, I also have to add an elastic band around this unit. Um, 
but we're not gonna do that right now so since I've already pulled the hair out usually what I do is I just take some hair scissors and I go downwards and just cut I usually would go shorter. Rule of thumb, you just want to go like about this short. But for beginners, again, sometimes I know like for me at least, when I first started doing this, I didn't want to go that short because I was scared I was going to mess up. And then I'm just going to take my edge control. This one is by the brand Hicks. I feel like you guys have been holding out. I'm looking for something that's even better than this. And I'm not getting the answers, but I know something's out there that's better than this. Like, this works and it's good, but I need something a little bit stronger for my natural hair. And then I'm going to take that same brush. Sometimes people will use something like this. Sometimes people will use the old toothbrush. And sometimes people will use, like, the nail brush that you use to clean um, your nails at the nail shop when you wash your hands. All three work pretty well. I own all three, but this is the one I usually grab to the most, or grab for the most. I just dabbed it in there. I took about this much of the gel. Now I picked up just a little bit more of that gel. And voila. I have on makeup. So the thing about that is that it messes up your makeup. But I would just go ahead and... So I would just take a little towel or something and kind of dab it lightly to kind of get some of that excess off. Because you don't want it to walk around with it all shiny like it's wet. And this isn't perfect because, I, like I said, I'm using the viewfinder in my camera. I don't have a mirror right here. And that's pretty much all you do. And that way when you move your hair around, it just looks like you have edges under there. Even though you really don't. So yeah, this is the pretty much the finished results. Like I said, it just helps that when people come up on you, it kind of looks a little bit more realistic when you have it like this. But overall, yeah, I do love this hair because it's shorter. I haven't really received any tangling um, or shedding. Super cute and natural. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. All of the information on the hair, again, is listed down below so you can know exactly what I got, a link to where to get it, also a link to China Lace Wigs full website because they have all different kind of options. If you want it to be longer, you can get it longer. I think I forgot to show you what the back looks like, so let me show you what the back looks like before I go. back fat back there because <laughs> I'm definitely getting huge but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe share this video with your friends and hit that like button also don't forget to suggest any other videos that you like to see from me from tutorials to other hair reviews I know you guys have been suggesting the vlogs I'm bringing them back they are coming soon because I do want to document a lot of baby number two's journey into this world and you know diamond he's about to turn two and all that so all that's coming soon thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one